we are doing our week four NFL power rankings. We're going to start off with the Cincinnati Bengals who we had in the Super Bowl contenders. Is it even a question? I think they might have to get moved to middle of the pack. We just talked about it in our recent video. Teams that start 0-3, only 2.5% 2 5, 2 since 1990 have made the playoffs. Starting out 0-3 and losing to the Patriots and the Commanders. Middle of the pack, the first two-tier jump of the power rankings this year. And I want to I want to get ahead of this before everyone else too because I can already you know some of those comments you can already hear them before they come on her. The people are going to say, "How are they not any given Sunday yet?" We're going to make a deal with you guys. We're going to make a deal. I think Hunter's on board with this. If they lose against the we just said, I'm blanking. Who are they? Who are they get to face this upcoming week? Because this is it's at the Panthers. If they lose against the Panthers this upcoming week. We will make a deal with you guys that I don't think it's even right to just drop them any given Sunday. They they might have to go to the basement for a week, Hunter. Can we Dude, make that deal? Because like like it's like we know you're not a basement team, but you gotta like you gotta you gotta soak in this one. You gotta marinate in the in the suck. Oh, if if they lose to the Panthers, that's a deal. Because I already know everyone's gonna be how are the Bengals? No, no, it's because we expect them to bounce back, and it's reasonable given their pedigree. If they don't, we hear you guys. They will go to the basement. Let it be clear. All right, Detroit Lions. Yeah, I think we're still comfortable having the Lions in Super Bowl contenders. I agree. I agree. I wish. I think it's if anything. The what I'll, what I'll say about the Lions more, is, though. I think Their they're going to get going. And they're going to keep. Get, they're going to. Yeah, they're going to keep going. And maybe Jared Goff isn't the same guy he was last year, but I think we're going to see Jared Goff get to get to you know get get it going. I think the Lions are going to slowly progress into being what we what we knew that they were last year. Houston Texans get a beat down from the Minnesota Vikings. I think they still have to stay. I think this was just kind of an off week. Yeah, you know what? Again, we're going to give them benefit of the doubt. I do still think that the Texans are Super Bowl contenders. But, you know, another one of those like come up anytime soon, you know, let it be known. They they will drop a tier. Kansas City Chiefs, they got to stay 3-0. and I know Mahomes hasn't been playing yeah, there's no football. There's, no but... Chief, there's like never discussion either around the Chiefs. No. We, we know why the Chiefs are in this Super Bowl contenders tier. Eagles. Kind of an ugly win over the Saints, but I feel like they got to stay. No, and, and again, I think what I want to say about the Eagles is I, I think a lot of people are kind of also mis, maybe misconstruing what happened with the Eagles and Saints. I think what you saw with the Eagles and Saints is two fiery, humming, pissed-off defenses where this, the history of these teams, too, in, in over the last 10 years, this is a very fiery, competitive history. I think we just witnessed a fiery, competitive game. We're also, too, missing key pieces on the O-line from both teams. Nobody wanted to talk about that for whatever reason. And when, when that happens, you're going to get a defensive right, a defensive battle, which you got. And I think that both of the uh, – we'll get into them later. But the Eagles are definitely still Super Bowl contenders. We know the pedal agree with the Eagles. We're going to leave it at that. 49ers, 1-2 and two start to the year. Kind of not healthy right now. Jawan Jennings might be the best receiver of all time. I think they have to stay right now, though. Yeah, I, I, I think what I'm going to say is this. I'm going to say let's move, let's move down to the let's move down to the playoffs just for for this week because I think it's only fair because right we know. Look, my thing is this, Hunter. The injury situation doesn't look good, right? CMC. I, I don't know how people think about this, but to me, I'm looking at it like. I'm not even sure CMC is coming back this year right now. Yeah, like, it's kind of weird. To He's Germany in Germany. To see his <laughs> it, it's not a good situation. And, you know, we were ahead of this. I didn't, we didn't post a video about this, but I remember we were talking about this, just me and you, and I was like, you know, with with the I was looking at the injury and how the history works with that injury, and it was that people were saying that a lot of times surgery is required. There's a lot of things that maybe the Niners are kind of leaving people in the dark with. I think I'm going to say I don't want to leave them in contenders. I think we should move them down to playoffs with the expectation that we expect them to go back up to Super Bowl contenders. But I think for right now, Hunter, I think it's only right we move them down to the playoffs for now. I'm down. Buffalo Especially Bills. Especially after losing to that just dismantled Rams team. Yeah, that, that was that was brutal, allowing that uh, comeback. That collapse was tough. Buffalo Bills, I mean, I think they might be the best team in football right now. Yeah, no, you got no argument with me there. And again, you know, uh, you, got, you got Josh Allen taking uh, shots at someone because we, we we won't name him. <laughs> Get Bills fans know who I'm talking about. If you saw the headline, you know who I'm talking about. It's but so funny because I don't have to say his name. We know who he's talking about, and we're gonna leave it at that. If anything, you know, you get rid of a couple uh say bad apples, and all of a sudden, and everybody's bought in, everybody's it, this offense is humming, the defense is humming. Hunter, the Bills, could it be the year that the Bills finally get over the hump? Just maybe. Green Bay Packers. I feel like they have to stay. Um 
winning oh, no with doubt after what they've done with Malik Willis. Yeah. You know, yeah. Doubt. They're, they're right up there where I'm like, look, look, I'm just as impressed with the Packers as anybody else at this point. And Matt LaFleur, masterclass tier at this point. Quarterback controversy in Green Bay, possibly. The New Orleans Saints. See, and again, as, as the resident Saints fan here, for me, this is kind of tough, but I'm going to say this. I feel like it, it, the problem with, with the situation now is we just lost Eric McCoy for six to eight weeks. And Eric McCoy was very clearly the cog of the offense. But on the other hand, it's tough because it's like, well, if we didn't have two dudes run into each other in the man coverage on 30 to 16, very likely right now the Saints would be 3-0 and and we wouldn't be having discussion whether we're moving them down or not. So I feel like for right now, this week, we should still leave them based off the first two weeks and say that last week was an anomaly of not having Taysom Hill and Eric McCoy, not having a game plan ready for it. But with that said, they come up flat against the Falcons next week. Let it be clear, NFL fans. There's no doubt that we'll be moving the Saints down. But what do you think, Hunter? You, let me know what you're thinking. I think they're okay right now. I mean, I think everyone gets one, you know? Like, everyone gets one. It's not like they yeah. lost to the Giants or the Broncos. Like, they lost to another Super Bowl contender. So, I think they're fine right now. But I would be concerned if we don't see the offense pick up gas because I will say this just in general for all teams. I feel like some teams were just more prepared than others to start the year. And sometimes when there's a lot of talent on the roster, some teams may feel like they can just kind of get get started a little bit later than other teams. So... You know, you we may be fooled for the first five, six weeks, and then we start to see kind of like really what the picture is going to look like going against this year. And that that, that is what I kind of just want to say right before we move into the playoff tier is there's a lot of people in the comments that say, you know, the playoff and, and Super Bowl contender, like it's too populated right now. Well, the reality is it's going to be populated and it's going to be more of a mix towards the top when these teams have two wins, three wins, they're undefeated because until we get closer to the playoff picture, like we don't know what team is actually going to be good. Like, do I think the, the do I think the Cardinals will ever sniff Super Bowl contender? No, but if they start out five and one, and they're playing with their hairs on fire. I mean, we kind of got to move them up there. I mean, they they're arguing to win their division at that point. So, um, just know the list is going to be pretty fluid, and it'll start to even out over over the football season. Yeah, guys, trust me. This is not you, 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 some of you guys think you're looking at the list and it is the list for the till an end of week 18. Guys, it, it, you, would you give it some time? It's this is a long it's it's a long period of time. All right. Playoffs. New York Jets. I feel like they got to stay. I, think, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not no. ready to move them up yet. As of right now, yeah. And not ready to move them up. I think to me, and I think Jets fans would agree, they still have to prove it against a more elite squad. But as of right now, yeah, there's no doubt. I think the Jets are staying right where they are. Yeah. All right. With a, Dallas, chance, with a good chance to move up. Yeah, Dallas Cowboys. I think for right now, yeah, for right now, the Cowboys got to go down for, for certain. With the way that that defense is playing, I think that, and again, you know, uh, it, it, that's really all it is. I don't, I'm not sitting here super concerned about the offense, but I'm extremely concerned about the defense. And when one side of the ball you're extremely concerned about with the new coordinator, I think it's only right to move him down one tier, Hunter. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I want to leave them in the playoffs, especially because they're in the NFC. No, for sure. Like we just said about the Saints, like we said about some other teams, you get one week and and that's the reality situation. I don't think that the last week is all right, albeit as atrocious as it was. It's not an indictment on the entire season. And sometimes teams just fall, fall really flat. And that's exactly what I think happened to the Bucks. I do think they will bounce back. I think the Broncos were like ready to come out. And that was kind of what I was talking about, like in terms of like, they may have been a team that was just younger and more unprepared than other teams. And, you know, we may see the maturity come from this Broncos team, especially led by Sean Payton. So, um, absolutely you know, good matchup. Baltimore Ravens. I can't, I can't move them to middle of the pack, even though I don't, I don't love everything I'm seeing from them. I don't know. It's, it's tough for me, Hunter. Like, I, I, I don't know. It's tough. I, I mean, I think I'm going to say this. They they showed that 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 they can win, right? Right, but also they they almost folded in in in, a, in an atrocious way. So it's so tough. But I think again, considering that we already have them in playoff tier, they're gonna they're, they still get a little bit of leeway because moving them down after the first win would be rough. But you know what? If there's one team that maybe we're really panicking about the most, where we, we're having a crisis about leaving them in their spot, it might be the Ravens for me because almost holding yeah. that game is so rough. 
and and it is. I'm concerned. I'm I'm very concerned about the O line. I'm just gonna I leave think, it at that. I think if the game versus the Bills doesn't feel competitive, they're gonna go down to middle of the pack. Oh, for sure, for sure. All right, Los Angeles Chargers. I, I'm still. I, I, it's it's tough. I, I'm again. I'm gonna say like we'll give them a week. But what's tough about the Charger situation that we will have to monitor, where again, if we're talking about someone who maybe is likely Herbert, to yeah. not be here for much longer, the Herbert situation is kind of interesting right now, right? Like I'm not all the way updated, but as far as I'm understanding, and I'd be concerned if I was in charge of the situation, you don't want to necessarily rush him back out there. We've seen how it's already gotten re-aggravated. I mean, there's a chance you might not have Herbert for a right, I don't want to say, but just an X period of time. And as, as Herbert's not out there, it's not the same Chargers bottom line so I'm, I'm comfortable leaving them there for now but again they're on watch they're certainly on watch they also play the chiefs this week so it'll be a big kind of litmus test to whether they can win these big games because the wins they do have are against the raiders and the panthers and we know what the raiders are at this point so well for the most part at least the pittsburgh steelers i feel like they've earned it they've earned uh They've earned moving up to Super Bowl contender. But right now, there's no doubt. They have earned it 100%. And it is what it is. Again, not against... It's not like they were, were facing world-beating teams. But you start 3-0, you know what? They've allowed you 26 get points this year. Yeah, you get to move 26 up. 26 points? That's ridiculous. And it's now, almost like... It's funny, too, because... They've well, only like scored say, 41. The next, team but... gonna, the next team we have up two gets the beneficiary of starting 3-0 and as well. Yeah, that's true. Seattle Seahawks. Do you think we should move them up? You think we should keep them where they're at? What do you think? It's, it's only right. And again, I'm the first person who's been saying it. I will keep saying it as much as just very much like the Steelers. You know, I do want to see it against a, a world beating team. I want to see it against a really, really team we can say is for sure contending. But you start three and zero. You're moving up to Super Bowl contender. That is what it is to me, Hunter. Yeah, I think. You know, I'm struggling to move them up. I'm willing to. I don't know, dude. Like, they only beat the Broncos by six. They only beat the Patriots by three. Yes, they fucked up the Dolphins, but Tua wasn't playing. So See, that and that's that's why I've been saying this forever. Where I'm like, people are already championing the Seahawks. You, 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 you. We we and Hunter had a discussion about this before we started recording anything today. Where that's my big thing. And that's my problem with the Seahawks. But I think I'm gonna say it like this, like we just said. Uh, they they are going to get the benefit of the doubt of that right now they're three and zero because like we said before the list is fluid. Do I expect them to stay there the whole year? Hand up, I don't. But they could prove us wrong, and at least we were ahead of the game versus behind the game. You know that's how I like to look at it. Because you know, we can move people down anytime. It's better to, it's better to be moving people down than to have to move them up late if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, we have the Arizona Cardinals. I feel like. I feel like they're good where they're at. I mean, they're one and two. They lost to the Lions by seven. They only lost to the Bills. I mean, I think I think they'll beat the Commanders. Like, I think they should beat the Commanders here. And I feel like we got to keep them there for now. I don't – I think it's because they've lost close to, like, very good teams. That's why I'm well, willing to That's what I want to say. Like, yeah, that you took the words out of my mouth. Like, you're losing by one possession or less to two teams that we view as Super Bowl contenders. So I'm I'm still very, very comfortable. And again, look, like, you know, the rest of the year, commanders, right? The Niners right now, how do we feel about the Niners, right? The Dolphins, uh, like the Bears, the, you know, and they get to face the Seahawks at some point here coming up. So we're going to get to see that. Right, the Patriots, the Panthers. I mean, to me, the schedule still looks favorable for the Cardinals. Well, I'm not ready to move them down just yet. But again, let it be clear. They are on watch for it for sure. And we will monitor that situation closely where they might not be here for, for much longer, but they also could definitely push the way back into staying here for at least another week for sure this upcoming week. It's going to be a big litmus test. Last team in the playoff tier, we have the Minnesota Vikings. They got to get moved up. I don't know if there's much discussion. They're one of the best teams in the NFL right now. Yeah, absolutely no discussion needed. Again, you're three and zero. You get the benefit of that. But I think the Vikings are much different than the other three and zero teams, in my opinion, as of right now. So again, we'll just leave it at that. Vikings I, I, I fans, welcome to Super Bowl contenders. Yep, uh, I have the Atlanta Falcons in the middle of the pack tier. I feel like they have to kind of stay because they lost to the Chiefs by five. They barely beat the Eagles, and they lost to the Steelers by one score. So they've been in every game. 
but they also haven't really wowed me, if that makes sense. So I think they're right there in the middle of the pack. Well, and, and again, on top of it, and Mahomes, Mahomes has been on top of this. Mahomes is, is very real for saying this, but he's also right. Look, right now, the Chiefs are not playing the best ball on offense, like far from it. So it's not like that this was the Falcons up against like the world beating Chiefs that we know that they will turn into and they always turn into. So, but again, I, I will say this to Falcons fans, and, and let me be crystal clear about this. If there's one team right now in the middle of the pack, Right. I mean, seriously, looking at the middle of the pack, if there's one team that I would say I'm pretty confident in that will find their way to the playoffs at some point, I will say that I think it's the Falcons. The Cleveland Browns lost to the Cowboys, barely beat the Jaguars, which we already know how we feel about them, and lost to the Giants. Any given Sunday. Yeah, they have to be moved down. But right now, unfortunately, as much as it pains me because I know how bought in Browns fans are and have been in it, it really does. It makes me sad for them, the situation. It, it really does, Browns fans. But right, objectively speaking, right now, the Browns aren't playing good ball. The own line has massively regressed. Deshaun Watson has not made a jump. You could even say has regressed himself from what was already a massive regression. Yeah, bottom line, Hunter, the Broncos got to go down any given Sunday. Browns, Browns. You said Broncos. Yeah, I said, yeah, hold on a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, the Browns. Let's be crystal clear. The next team that's also going to be making a trip down to any given Sunday is going to be the Bears. Their defense has played very well, but their offense has struggled quite a bit. And yes, Caleb Williams played well against the Colts if you want to take away the turnovers. And you could, yes, you could argue that the turnovers were not all his fault. What? Yes, he forced a throw late to the sideline. That was definitely his fault. Let's get this out of the way. The offense looks really bad sometimes, and the off of offensive line looks even worse. Until the offense looks like capable, they will stay in any given Sunday. I don't care about the defense similar to the Browns. You can have a good defense, and it doesn't matter. No, 100%, and that's the reality of the situation. But again, I have faith that the Bears can figure it out here at some point to get back to the middle of the pack. But for right now, there's no doubt that they're down to any given Sunday. Miami Dolphins. Oh, for right now, we yeah, the Dolphins the Dolphins are going down any given Sunday, yeah. especially until, until Tua, Tua gets back. Out, yeah. I mean, that's kind of the big contingency. Like, it's just like the bottom line is if Tua was was still there, the result probably would have been different this past week. Maybe not a win, but not not the, not the game that we saw. And I think that I'm just going to leave it at that. Until Tua gets back, the reality is this team is probably going to be in, in any given Sunday. And look, call it for what it is. They might find themselves in the basement here if they if Tua does not, right, which, which I would expect and I would encourage. So it's a rough situation for the Dolphins. Let's just leave it at that. Again, to be still clear, I'm saying Tua should take as much time as he needs away. If not, right, I won't even right, we won't get into it, but you get what I'm saying. Like, the Dolphins for this foreseeable future, it's looking rough. Los Angeles Rams. Look, know. they, I feel like they, they stay showed us. The, yeah. Yeah, they showed us. They said, yeah, they said, count as, that's always how Sean McVay and Stafford work. They, they're like, right when you're like, yeah, they're, 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 there's no there's no doubt. They, they, they find a way to make you say like, well, I was full of shit. So it is what it is for right now. Rams middle of the pack situation is still a massive, massive uphill battle, but it's the pedigree, the pedigree of staff and McVay. We can't count them out. They're staying middle of the pack for sure. Hunter Las Vegas Raiders. I am thinking that we have to move them down. Yeah. Got slaughtered by the Panthers. They beat the Ravens. Yes, but they also lost to the chargers. Yeah. I mean, they're going to live in any given Sunday. Oh, it's rough. They can they could find their way down to the basement here eventually if, if things don't get figured out fast. You got Antonio Pierce already saying they're making business decisions. Uh, yeah, one of the business decisions, let it be crystal clear. I don't know, because I don't know how like, well-known this is, but one of the real crystal, crystal clear ones after watching that All-22, oh, he's, he's definitely specifically referring to Jack Jones as one of them. He's specifically referring to Jack Jones as one of them, let it be known. The other ones, I'm not so certain about. Jack Jones is surely one of them. But that's that's just that's a side tangent. Really, the reality of the situation is here. It's looking rough for the Raiders, Hunter. It's looking rough, especially after how well that they finished last year on defense. And now you're one of the worst defenses. And that was your identity that we thought was the identity. I don't know. We also thought they were going to run the ball a ton and they're not. So I don't know. Weird team. Weird team. New England Patriots. I feel like they got to go down. I feel like they fooled us a little. They played an actual defense and uh, (laughs) yeah. Yeah, we got a little, maybe we got a little too uh, uh, giddy on the vibes down there in New England, right? We, we, we were last week, power the vibes were different. Well, vibes only, vibes can only fuel the engine for so long. And we know the reality of this team. And more than anything, the reality of this offensive line situation is kind of the story of this team. It is what it is. 
don't start Drake May. Please, Patriots, let him rest. Let him sit. Let him learn. Please. The Bengals. See, I think they have to stay for wait, one wait, more wait, week. You, wait, you mean the Commanders, right? No, the Bengals. Because, oh, wait, we just moved them down from playoffs. I'm tweaking. All right. Any given <laughs> I was Sunday. Like, I, was like, I was like, wait, wait, you're talking about the team that just played the Bengals? Yeah, 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 right, right. The Washington Commanders, any given Sunday, I feel like they got to go to the middle of the pack. They're two and one. Yeah. Oh, no, for sure. And look, Commanders fans, because again, I want to, you know, this is where I can hear Commanders fans mad. They're how, how are you, right? They're top of the NFC East. Look, that's the thing me and I are going to be objective about. It is the NFC East. We know the pedigree of the other teams in the NFC East. We expect the other teams in the NFC East to figure it out, right? At least, at least two of them. We know who the one that we're not referring to is. But, and the one that we're not referring to also won this week. So the bottom line is for the commanders, the, the start of the year is amazing. You've got to be so excited about the future, and you should be, because the future is looking so bright. Jaden Daniels is a star, and that that's that that is all the stuff I'm willing to say I already got right now. But from a perspective of are they gonna be a playoff team? I don't think that it would be safe, or not only that, it would be rational for us to jump to that conclusion yet. But they definitely get bumped up a tier. Indianapolis Colts, they're staying. They are staying for sure. Oh, they're they're staying, and if the Bears beat them, they probably would have just found themselves in the basement, and they scraped by barely. So there's not really much that has to be said about that. I think that uh, you know, I think Colts fans would be on the same page as us. I fear the Tennessee Titans are going to spend a week in the basement. They oh, just don't. They're look getting good, sent dude. down. They they are getting sent down to the basement. There there was no doubt about it here, Hunter. Again, you know you know, kind of kind of pains me to say because again we were kind of. Not not bought in, but we were expecting a lot more from the Titans. It's, honestly, Perfect. expecting a lot more. I'm expecting a lot more than this. But yeah, this is rough. The 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 situation with the coach and the 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 quarterback with Levis and Callahan. It, it it's the writings on the wall that unless massive changes happen, maybe you could say a miracle. It's looking like it's going to be a problem down there in Tennessee this year. I was told though that uh, you know Vrabel, it was time for him to go, and Callahan was the answer. And listen, he's a young head coach. Hey, there's a lot can change, and Levis makes bad decisions. But I don't know. I've seen a lot of blowing up on the sidelines very early into the year. Oh, 100%. Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm going to put a Jaguar in a basement, dude. It's bad. Oh, we're putting a Jaguar in the basement for sure. It's and, and, you know, as far as the top teams where we had to, you know, there's not even an explanation needed. Uh, you watch any Jaguars football, there's no explanation needed for the Jaguars, but we will explain real quick. I mean, O-line play terrible. The, Doug, Dougie P and Trevor Lawrence, it's not working. The defense, it's not working. Nielsen, not working. The Jaguars are in the basement. Okay, let me ask you this. As we move on to the basement tier. We have the New York Giants, right? And we have the Denver Broncos. Do we ever do? Are we ever going to do a two tier jump in one week? Because if it would be any team, it'd be the Jags to me right now. Not not ready to do it yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet, but they could find themselves there soon. They could. I right. want to leave it. If, oh, if it no, if, if it's even another week, it, they will find themselves there. All right, the Giants basement. I think they stay there. Yeah, I think again. We're you know you just. Right, you beat the Browns, but we know how we feel about the Browns. You got to prove it to us to get another team. The roster is still not; it, it still has a lot of holes, and, and that's the reality. But I do think the Giants could find themselves any given Sunday soon if they can replicate what they just did last week. I'm going to leave it at that. We have the Denver Broncos. I don't know if I'm ready to move them up to any given Sunday. I feel like one more week. I mean, they play the Jets next week, so I feel like that's a good indicator. But no, but the Bucks that, are in the playoffs. The the it was just a, I don't know. It was a weird game. It was weird. It, yeah, again, like we said, you know, kind of like for the Bucks, everybody gets a week where you can just right, you, you can show up and shit the bed. Well, same with the Broncos, where you have a week where sometimes you show up and have an anomaly game. It's up to the Broncos to show us that last week was not an anomaly. And with that being said, you're still in the basement for now. But just like the Giants, you definitely got yourself a good chance to move up to any given Sunday sometime soon here. All right, Panthers fans, you have always pretty much been last. You guys, dude, with the way they played, maybe any given Sunday. But nah, we got to move up to the basement. You move your way up slowly. So Yeah, the two-tier jumps is reserved for special circumstances. Yeah, yeah. So 
Carolina Panthers came out, dotted up with the red rifle. It was such a great experience. Not if you were a Raiders fan, but is there hope for the Carolina Panthers? There's they're out of NFL hell. You know, Hunter, there was a certain someone. Yeah, I, I can't remember who he was. I I can't remember who he was, but he did let the fans know that Red Rifle's first start last year for the Panthers, over 300 yards, two plus <laughs> touchdowns. I can't remember who the guy was, but you know, he might have had he might have had the crystal ball popper for that one. And and look, if he can get, keep it replicated, man, oh man. Oh man, the the Panthers could could the Panthers jump from NFL to hell to any given Sunday within a couple it's of possible. weeks. I don't know. It's it's on the table. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been our NFL Week 4 Power Ranking into Tears. If you don't know ball, want to know ball, be sure to subscribe. Leave a like. Let us know in the comments who you think should be in NFL hell, if anybody, or if there's any teams that we missed we understand. The Super Bowl contender window is kind of wide right now. That'll definitely narrow down throughout the year. Have a great rest of your night. Thank you so much for watching.